I want it to be monetized. Only here for Fnatic Dash. Is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. What's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and in this video, I'm going to be making another tier list. I'm going to be doing it on stream again. So if you aren't in the streams, you're really just missing out. Truly a shame. Twitch.tv slash Boardsy TV. Um, I stream every day, so just make sure to watch it. Um, in this video, I actually put chat on the screen um, as opposed to not being on screen on screen because somebody told me to, and I was like, damn, that's a fucking good idea. So yeah, if I can improve my videos in any way, make sure to let me know, but yeah, now I'm gonna get started. First, we have the Helios. I'm gonna put in the just don't buy that here. Oh, fuck, why is, why is the thing going away? How do I fix this? I don't know how I can fix this. Okay, so I'm gonna put the Helios in the just don't buy tier, because really, you shouldn't buy it. It's, it's pretty cheap, not gonna lie. If you wanna just try it out for fun, feel free. But it has shit durability, and it like has no control, and it feels super weird to use. It's also pretty scratchy with most mouse feet, which I don't understand. Like it's the smoothest thing ever. Like it's just a smooth piece of plastic, but it eats up your mouse feet, and it's super scratchy on them. It's just not pleasant to use. So fucking don't buy it. Next up, we have the Fanatic Dash. I'm gonna put this in the B tier. It could be in the A tier. Um, but I really just don't know about the durability because a lot of the people, um, like in Hoya's, um, Hoya's master sheet basically says that it has a coating that wears out in two to four weeks and then it's totally like not the same pad. So we're going to put that in the B tier if that's true, but if it's not and it does last for a while, it could be in the A or the S tier depending on how much you fuck with the texture. Um, it's sort of like a smoother... Hine with the zero speed like i don't it like takes this um static friction of the zero and puts it over the speed of the hind so it's not really going to be as fast as the hind and it's going to have a bit more initial friction so i just it's personally not the best pad in my opinion but for some people you might fucking dig it but i'm gonna put in that b tier um now we have the aqua control plus i'm gonna put this in the a tier um, I really, if I hadn't tried the Artisan pads, it would have been in one of these tiers. But it doesn't last as long as a coating that wears out in like 6 to 8 months, I've heard. And it's, it does have a great feeling though. It's like a faster GSRSE, um, but it's still a unique pad. One of the more unique cloth pads I've used. And it just feels great. So I'm going to put in the A tier. Definitely a great quicker pad. Um, now we have the MP510. I'm going to put it in the C tier, um, but it also could easily be in that B tier. It's really rough on your skin. Like, if you want to practice getting used to, like, having, like, itchy forearms for whatever reason, get an MP510. Plastic bags, thank you for the follow. Um, it's just a super rough texture. It has horrible X and Y, um, like, the fucking horizontal and vertical axis. They are not the same speed, and that's an issue on, like, every single pad. So just stay away from it. There's better options. But if you want to be able to spill your drink on a mouse pad, fucking get the MP510 because you'll be able to. Um, too bad the pad is dog shit. And unless you get the XL version, you're just not going to have enough vertical room. It's similar to the Fnatic Dash. Um, I don't know why it's so small. It's another fucking complaint I have. Now we have one of the Logitech cloth pads. I don't even know what it's fucking called. We're gonna put it in the C tier. It's just a piece of cloth that's affected by humidity and doesn't have stitched edges. Why anybody would put this in contention as, like, one of the best pads is fucking beyond me. Um, so yeah. G640, yeah, thank you, CDG Evans. Um. You think it should be even lower? I don't know. I haven't... Yeah, I mean, I guess the MP510 isn't that bad. Let's put in an I'll keep it in the C tier. Okay, now we have the Glorious Cloth Pad, and we're going to put this in the D tier because it slows down super fucking quickly, and it's overall just another cloth pad affected by humidity, slows down super quickly, isn't, like, anything, like, any... It's not in any way near elite. It's, like, affected by the environment. Imagine that. Um, so if you have one, I really recommend upgrading it. Shit's in the D tier. Look at that. Like, even fucking Logitech pads better. Embarrassing. But yeah, if you need a pad that fits, like, that you can, like, hide a human body in, I guess get it, because that one's cheap. Uh, now we have the Equate. I'm gonna put this in the C tier again. It's not X-Ray Pad's best pad by any means. 
it's super slow and it has a really weird texture and personally I just didn't like it very much it was way too slow for me and it has super high initial friction which is just like icky in my opinion it's not affected by humidity or temperature though which is a good thing so if you're really into those slower pads like the GSR you can pick one up just try it out um, lethal gaming gear sells them for pretty cheap in the US next we have the equate plus I'm gonna put this in the B tier it's a bit faster than the equate and overall just feels a bit nicer it has like some glitter on it similar to the Thor so it gives it a nice bit of speed and you still have a ton of control that you have on the equate it's just a better version of the equate in my opinion now we have the Hyper X Fury S. I, I kind of want to put this in the F tier, but I'm going to put it in the D tier. Another pad that's just a standard cloth pad, super affected by humidity. Like, just why would you use this when there are so many better options that I'm going to get into? They fucking save the best for last. Pretty pog champ. Um, but yeah, not a great mouse pad by any means. Could very well be in the F tier. Um, no need to use it when there's better options. Um, now we have the Zowie GSR. I'm going to put this in the B tier. This might surprise a lot of people, but for what it is, it's really good. Like, this is the niche pad for fucking Kovacs players and people who have a fetish of mud pads. Like, if you're really into, like, getting high scores on Kovacs, get the GSR. Like, if that's a legitimate reality for some people, believe it or not. And also, if you really like slow mud pads, um get the GSR because it's the best version of that available uh, but overall for me I would it's like agonizing to even think about but for some people they fucking dig it now we have the GSRSC again I'm gonna put this in the B tier this is probably shocking the world there's probably I think Twitter is gonna go down because I'm gonna get so much hate from the Fortnite community um, the GSRSC is nothing special believe it or not um, it's a piece of cloth with a very medium speed, it's very in the middle of control and speed, and it has a texture that's affected by humidity and temperature. If you have an AC on in your room, it's going to make the mouse pad muddy and swampy, like the GSR. Not that slow, but like super fucking slow. And then the next day, maybe it's cold out, it's going to be super fucking fast. You don't have your AC on, it's cold in your room, it's going to be super fast. But you don't have the AC, it's hot in your room, it's super slow. It's going to be a varying like surface texture and just why would you use that when there's better options available that aren't affected by that but if you are in a place that isn't affected by humidity um a lot of eu is good i'm pretty sure um arizona is good texas is good um this could be really good if you're into just a in the middle cloth pad but for most people um just using it there's better upgrades available but for a certain group of people who like those in the middle pads not affected by humidity it's solid now we have the hayate we have the whole hayate series and I, i'm just not gonna go into each pad i only have the Ots otsu so i'm just gonna put all of them in the same tier which is the b tier um and the thing with these is that in the same way as the shinkai they're super um like not durable they have they wear out super quickly even faster hoya sheets said four to six months but other people say six to eight and they're just in my opinion not the best like they're not worth the price tag for the quality that they are like a hein is just a very similar texture to the hayate atsu and it's gonna last you way longer so no reason not to get um, the Hein or like a Raiden or something when you're considering your artisan pad. They're just not the best artisan pads, in my opinion. Um, I do like the way the Atsu feels. Like, I enjoy every artisan pad, but just knowing that's going to wear out, I'm not going to main it. It's really not worth paying like $120 a year for it when you could be paying like 60 a year for a Hein. Or like 60 for three years of a Hein. Yo, Bot, Bot Yosh 812, thank you for the follow. 44 viewers holy shit um and now we have the hein my favorite mouse pad the best of all time i truly just fucking love this mouse pad it was the first artisan pad i got and after trying all of them i still think it's the best it has this super nice texture um it's like a bit i would say if you have the aqua control plus and you're looking for something that's not only faster but also going to give you a bit more stopping power um go with the hein 
has super low initial friction and has such a smooth glide. If you have good PTFE feet, like core pads, hyperglides, tire arc tubes, it really just enhances how it feels. And the Hine is just one of the best pads. There's not a single problem with it. And it's super durable, three years of hard use. And it's not affected by humidity. Like, what more could you want in a mouse pad? Like, this is what separates the Hine from a fucking GSRSE. Um, now we have another HyperX pad. Honestly, I don't even know which one this is. I'm just going to put it in the same area. Um, I'm, I just don't really care much about basic cloth pads anymore now that I've tried the better ones. That sounds super snobby, but really it's just the difference is night and day and until you try it, you won't really understand. But um, I just put most cloth pads pretty low on the list. The Gigantis V2 though, um, that is antithetical to what I just said. I don't know if I want to put in the B tier or the A tier, honestly, because it's a really good budget mouse head. If you're on a budget and you want a slow pad, it might be even like fucking S tier. But um, if you're on a budget, it can be in the A or the S tier. But for most people, there's better options available. It's basically, it's somewhat similar to the Artisan Zero. Um, the glide feels sort of the same, but it is affected by humidity, which really just fucking you don't want that to happen it makes it unusable for a large portion of mouse pad consumers so um, it's just not the best but it's a super good budget option and i enjoy playing with it it's similar to the gsr kind of um, a bit faster though now we have the raid and i'm going to put this in the s tier um it would be in the best of all time tier uh it's super fast but it also does have a good bit of stopping power it'll take a while to get used to um, but once you get used to that stopping power, it's going to feel incredible um, because it's so fast and so smooth. But the one downside is as a super tight weave, um, allowing for the texture, like allowing for it to feel so nice. And it causes spin outs on a lot of mice. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I thought it was like kind of a meme at first, but my S2 was literally unusable. Anytime I did a flick, it would spin out. And on my Skull Mini, a 3389 sensor, I have been getting occasional spinouts, and I got one spinout on my XM1. That's all so far. Um, when I make the full review, I'll update that, but yeah. Um, spinouts are a real thing, so I wouldn't put this in the best of all time unless you have a lot of mice and you can ensure that you'll have a few that work on the Raiden. Um, now we have the Shinkai. I'm gonna put this in the A tier. Um, it's actually what I'm currently using right now. Um, Oh, yeah, I'll show that. Um, as you can see here, I have my Ultralight 2 and my Shinkai. It's a combo I've been rocking recently. I'm going to do the Shinkai review soon. And yeah, it's a super nice mouse pad, but of course, it has that glass coating that wears off in a few months of hard use. Um, the extra soft version is going to wear down in like fucking weeks. It's a meme. But this, the mid version, the one that I have, it feels very nice it has broken in which i didn't know like it had to break in because at first i was like this kind of feels like a piece of glass like what the fuck am i using like i could just get a glass pad but then it broke in and it's super buttery smooth it has such a nice texture it's literally you can't even explain how the texture feels it's like little beads of glass below like a i don't even know below like a flat surface it feels nice and yeah, it's a really great texture. Super fast, so very minimal stopping power. Um, faster than the Raiden, much faster than the Hine, and less stopping power than both. So it's going to take some time to get used to, but once you get used to it, if you don't mind buying a couple a year, it could be a great main. But unless you have the money to do that, um, I wouldn't go for it. Now we're going to be talking about the Sloth Mat. This was my first mouse head. Um, I just got it as a meme. I'm going to put it in the C tier. Um, it was actually one of the more enjoyable cloth pad experiences I've ever had. Um, it was affected by humidity, and I used to fucking rub the bubbles out with my glorious mouse bungee, but it I performed really well with it. It was like pretty slow, but it felt like I can't even explain it anymore. I might use it again and just do a review, but unfortunately, the company shut down. Um, I emailed them, and I was like, did you shut down? And they were like, yeah, we weren't selling enough. So it might be fucking rare now. I don't know. I might just do a review like for the meme, though. But it was a better pad than the fucking Helios. I can guarantee you that. Okay, now we have the Thor. I'm going to put it in the C tier as well. 
the first few weeks and maybe even months of having the Thor, it's going to be insane. Um, this all this goes for Series M as well. Um, it's the OEM version of the Thor. It has a great coating, super smooth. Um, but it is unfortunately super affected by humidity and the coating wears down quicker than anything else on this list besides from the helios probably but yeah really great coating for the first few weeks and then once you break it in it basically fucking starts to wear down so it's a c tier but for those first few weeks god it might even be up here i loved it when i initially had it um, next, we have the Decanic Control. I'm going to put this in the A tier, believe it or not. Um, it is one of the best surf like textures and feels on the market, and it is insanely good for budget. Um, for budget, it's arguably the best if they have the XXL in stock, because it's $20 for a full desk mouse pad that's going to last you years, not affected by humidity, and a super nice texture. It is a bit rough, but... It feels amazing on your mouse feet. Um, now we have the Mousepad Company. We're going to put this in the C tier as well. Um, unfortunately, it is just a copy of the Decanic Controls texture at double the price. Um, and overall, there's just no reason that's it's too expensive to be deemed like worth it. And it's the same texture as that, so it's like, who really cares? But their Triple XL is pretty solid. Probably the best Triple XL. And their designs are nice, but like, eh, who cares? I mean, if you care about the design, I get roasted for this all the time. If you care about the designs, fucking fine, get it. I don't care. But for me, I don't value that. My tier list, that shit is not worth it when the Decanic Control is available. Fucking Zero is super good. For games like CS, Valorant, um, Fortnite even. I'd say the Hine is a bit better for Fortnite if you can get used to it, but the Zero is really good for virtually every slow-paced game because it does provide, it's like the perfect version of a cloth pad. Um, similar to the, like, every other cloth pad I've talked about so far, like, the, all of them combined like don't even live up to the zero like the zero is an insane cloth pad not affected by humidity it's the only one that isn't affected by humidity aside from the rating but it's not really the same and the zero is the soft version is the best if you are getting it on artisan-jp.com and it's easily on the same level as the hein it's just if you prefer faster pads go with the hein if you prefer slower pads go with the zero and if you have any of these other like slower pads that I've talked about, um, if you get an Artisan Zero, you will never go back. Um, now we have this. I don't know what this is. I would... I don't know. I'm just going to put in the best of all time. Uh, maybe, in so maybe someone in chat can tell me what that is. Um, okay, now here we have the QCK. And again, we're going to put it in the D tier with all the other cloth pads. I just made the entire... CSGO community hate me. Um, I tend to do that a lot though, but really this mouse pad Super outdated if you have one just get an artisan zero. You'll never go back um, It gets worn out super fast um, And some people are like I I unironically like the way it feels worn out. Well, like yeah, you're fucking weird I don't know what to say to you, but it's affected by humidity, which we can all agree is bad it's affected by temperature, which we can all agree is bad and it's just outdated like it doesn't have stitched edges and the durability is shit there's no reason to get it when there's better options available as i've said multiple times in this video so yeah really um I, there might have been a few mouse pads that i missed i'm not sure i don't really think so though it's a ton of mouse pads impressive list um and i would not i think this is a pretty solid list it, obviously it can change up based on your um, circumstances but I, living in New York, can't use shit that's affected by humidity because it's just, like, so bad. Um, if you can, that, that will obviously change up your list. But I still think that the pads that aren't affected by humidity will be good for you. Uh, maybe even better. Who knows? But, yeah. If you... You can def I vouch for every single pad up until the B tier. But once you get to the B tier, it's like, hmm, you can definitely upgrade. But all of these pads, I vouch for it. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video. I don't know what other tier lists I could do now. I just did, I saw that the mouse one was doing really well. So I decided to do this one, but I don't know what else I can do. 
So just let me know in the comments below and have a great rest of your life experience. Peace out.